Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Google Home Summit. I'm Marco Cavalli, a product manager on the Google Nest team, and I'm here with Gina, a technical solution engineer, to talk about the tools and solutions that Google provides to make your job as developers easier. As you have heard from Michelle in the welcome keynote, there's a lot of excitement in the smart home industry. The market is growing fast with new devices and new test solutions becoming available to make the home more intelligent and useful. User expectations are also growing, and the smart home is no longer seen as a collection of individual devices that tackle point use cases, but rather an integrated and cohesive solution that provides a rich and seamless experience for the entire home. Today, we want to talk about how we enable you to quickly build high quality, unique, and differentiated experiences for your users with Google Home, taking advantage of the technology and the ecosystem that Google provides. And we want to tell you how we are making that easier for you by providing tooling and solutions that make integrating with Google Home fast, easy, and reliable. Google provides a rich ecosystem that helps you build experiences that deliver on the promise of a seamless and integrated home. At the foundation, we rely on core communication technologies that power the smart home, and we'll discuss those in a moment. By integrating with Google Home, over simple APIs, you enable interactivity across Nest devices, Android, Google Assistant, and the Google Home app. Home and Away and Schedule Actions provide users with intelligent actions based on presence and the flexibility to schedule routines, making the home more helpful and proactive. And finally, the Google Home ecosystem is more than just technologies and devices. You, our partners, are at the forefront of the smart home revolution. And by working together, we can enable that end-to-end -end experiences that really bring the smart home together. As developers, technology is what you rely on to build your devices and applications. At Google, we continue to invest in and push forward key technologies that enable new use cases that are reliable and easy to use. We all want a smart home that just works, but we know we are not quite there yet. As users, we want the flexibility to purchase devices without the headache of figuring out whether they will work with what we already have at home. And once purchased, we want to set them up quickly and want them to work seamlessly with the rest of our home. As developers, we strive for simplicity and want to focus on innovation and differentiation, knowing that the foundational technology is taken care of. This is what Matter is about. Matter is a new application layer connectivity protocol that intends to improve communication across smart home devices reducing the fragmentation at the slowed adoption, and finally enabling that interoperability and choice users are asking for. By aligning on a standard application layer protocol, Matter alleviates burden and complexity for you and your users. Thanks to Matter, users will be able to choose devices based on their unique capabilities and the type of home experience they want to create, without having to worry about whether they will work with their ecosystem. They will have the flexibility to use them across multiple ecosystems if they wish to, and they will benefit from the improved quality and reliability offered by local control. Device makers and developers can rely on a broadly adopted protocol rather than having to support multiple technologies to reach their customers. This will help reduce cost and accelerate innovation. There is major industry momentum and enthusiasm behind Matter. Over 200 companies from silicon vendors to device makers across many device categories have been hard at work for two years, pushing over 4,000 commits to the open source GitHub repository to make Matter a reality. We have been working with early access partners across the industry to ensure we are ready to update your Google devices with Matter next year, when the protocol formally launches. We are committed to Matter to support more delightful setup and interaction journeys. That means that your Matter devices will have compatibility with millions of households, enabling users to control them with Nest devices, the Google Home app, Android, and Google Assistant. These experiences start with you, the developer. We are excited to share the new tools we have built to support Matter as well as our existing APIs. Let's dive deeper 
into how we are making it easier for you to create innovative experiences quickly and at high quality with Google Home. Building smart home solutions and integrated with multiple ecosystems is complex and time-consuming. Your users expect flexibility, performance, reliability. The market is moving fast, so how are we helping you succeed in such a challenging environment? Whether you're building devices or creating applications and experiences for the smart home, we want to make it easy and fast for you to innovate with Google Home. What that means in practice is making it easy to find all the resources you need in one place, rather than having to navigate multiple sites. Providing comprehensive documentation, use cases, sample applications, device templates. A new web console to integrate with Google Home. New matter APIs, like the one in Google Play services on Android, they make setting up devices fast and easy. And tools to help you not only build, but test and collect metrics on how your devices and solutions are performing. We looked at the entire development journey and are building solutions to help you get started, build, test, certify, deploy, and analyze your device's performance with Google Home quickly and reliably. The brand new Google Home Development Center is the core of the developer experience and is your entry point to find all the resources you need to start building and integrate with Google Home. To accelerate your development with Google, we are providing SDKs for embedded and mobile development on top of the open source matter reference SDK. For embedded developers, we have Visual Studio Code extensions that complement your workflow to integrate and test with our smart home actions. For Android developers, APIs available through Google Home Play services will make it easy to onboard Matter devices into your applications with just a few lines of code. For developers integrating over our existing APIs today, and for Matter developers in the future, we'll provide easy access to logging and monitoring that will enable you to test your devices and integrations, ensuring they meet the high quality your user expects. Let's dive into a bit more detail into each area. We have heard your feedback that learning about how to integrate with Google needs to be more intuitive for you and your colleagues. We are building the new Google Home Developer Center from the ground up with the development and go-to-market journey in mind, with the goal to make each step clear, easy, and as fast as possible. The Google Home Developer Center is structured in two main parts, the website, where you can learn about tools and integration path and find case studies to understand how the technology can help you. You will find the key information needed for your developers, marketers, and business colleagues. The developer console, where you can build and test and launch your integrations in a guided flow with rich documentation throughout. And we are making the journey self-serve with an interface that guides you through the flow step-by-step, step, removing ambiguity, so you don't need to waste time guessing, but rather focus on doing and building fast and predictably. For the first time, the console is going to enable you to build, test, and launch routines, letting your users discover more ways to use your devices right from the Google Home app. We will share more details of our routine schema and tools for creating suggested routines next year, when we will be hosting dedicated workshops. If you want to learn more about the Google Home Developer Center, Alex will provide a deep dive in the session shown here. And now I'll hand it over to Gina, who will take you through a journey of all the tools we are building to make your life easier and more productive. Thank you, Marco, for sharing a preview of the Developer Center. In addition to the Developer Center, we are delivering Google Home Device SDK to embedded developers to accelerate their matter development with Google Home. The SDK complements the open source reference implementation of matter in GitHub. We are currently working with early SS partners to get feedback and make sure it's amazing before sharing it out with all of you. Please reach out to your Google representative or Silicon vendor partner if you are interested in helping us by participating in our early access program. Once you join the EAP, you will be started by setting up hardware, including Google Nest Hub Max, Development Board, and the Google Home app. You will build and flash embedded code to the Development Board 
and paired it to the Google Home ecosystem using the Google Home app. Once paired, you can control your development board with Google via the Google Assistant, Google Home app, and more. The device SDK currently supports a number of device types, including color lights, on-off lights, locks with initial support of bridges, and we are always adding more device types as the device SDK evolves. I encourage all of you to join Don Darling's workshop to see how we are incorporating matter into the Google Home ecosystem by building the Google Home device SDK so you can begin planning your future integration. In this workshop, Don will show you step-by-step -step details of how you start matter development. At Google, we want to empower developers with amazing tools so you can build great Matter products. As part of the Google Home Device SDK, we are building extensions and developer tools for the most commonly used IDEs, such as Visual Studio Code, so integrating Matter devices with Google fits seamlessly into your existing workflow. We are excited to launch an early preview release of Google Home IDE. You can download the Google Home IDE at goo.goe slash google-home-ide and start using it today. Google Home IDE, a Visual Studio Code extension, is designed and created for the embedded developers, and it provides you easy access to our existing developer tools within this popular editor, as well as adding many more developer tools. We know that many of you are already using Visual Studio Code. If you are, you can just add the Google Home IDE alongside the other extensions you enjoy. If you haven't tried Visual Studio Code or are not an active user, we recommend you to try out the Google Home IDE since it makes it easier to test and debug your Google Home integration. All the features that we have built not only works for Matter projects, but also existing Google Home Cloud integrations and local home SDK. In the Google Home IDE, you can log into your developer account, selecting your projects, which enables you to directly access many of the Google services. As an assistant developer, constantly talking to my devices at my desk can get tedious, not to mention bother my family and coworkers. We are enabling you to hand type commands directly in the Google Home IDE that you would normally speak to the Google Assistant. You can do things like turn on the light, or set brightness to 30%, or even change the color. We are working on an exciting feature that enables you script batched commands and even execute testing assertions directly in this extension. As an embedded developer, it's very challenging to get logs from your IoT devices. In the Google Home ecosystem, we use Google Cloud Logging, formerly known as Stack Driver, to make it easier for you to get access to the valuable debugging information and analytics. During development, Cloud Logging gives you access to the additional detailed debugging information. In production, Cloud Logging can help aggregate key metrics and even gives you insights on the entire fleet. Directly in the Google Home IDE, you will see real-time Google Cloud logging messages from your IoT devices right next to your embedded code during troubleshooting. You can click on any of the logs to see the full payloads and filter the logs from the UI. We are planning many more features in the Google Home IDE and look forward to sharing them with you soon. Check out Melissa Hall's talk, where she goes through all the features that we have already built in the Google Home IDE and our roadmap. Besides the Google Home Device SDK, we are working on an intuitive and easy to integrate Google Home Mobile SDK for application developers to simplify implementation in your Android apps for Matter device commissioning and sharing. With the Matter APIs in Google Play services, you can easily extend your app with Matter support. And it also gives a consistent, standardized device data flow and sharing experience. 
you can use the Google Play services to handle Meta device data flows, which shows a QR code scanner to complete proof of position. And it also has a fallback for setup code where users can manually input any code on the Meta device's web boxes. Once scanned, the user will be prompted to connect the device to the user's Google account, and Play Services will connect the device to the user's network. After the device successfully connects, the user will be prompted to select the device name and optionally the location in their home. When setup is completed, we will redirect the user back to your Android app so you can update your UI with the new device. To make setup feel more seamless, you will be able to customize the setup flow with branding and descriptions. Additionally, the Matter APIs in Google Play Services provide a device sharing flow that you can easily integrate to your Android app. By calling the Matter API, the overlay will be displayed with a number of sharing options, and the Matter service will bundle the device information together and send them to your app if it's the one a user wants to add devices to. To get further details, please check out James Romo's talk about the mobile development for Matter. James Romo will give you a preview of the Matter APIs in Google Play services and how to use them to simplify your implementation in your Android app. Once development and testing are completed, your development journey will be going to the next phase, certification, which helps you to validate your integration in a thorough manner before your product launch. Test Suite is a web tool that allows you to self-test your implementation, and it generates an automated test plan for your devices and executes against your Google Home integration. With the new version of Test Suite, you can log into your Google account and you don't have to import a service account key anymore. More importantly, we want your users to be able to control their devices via the Google Assistant and the Google Home app. In order to achieve this, we highly recommend you to implement Report State which proactively reports the latest status of the user's device back to the Google Home ecosystem. Once you have report state ready in your project, you can simply run the test suite again to make sure your query states match device states reported to Google via report state. We highly recommend you to run test suite not just right before certification, but periodically through your entire development journey especially when you are releasing non-trivial changes to production. It will help you to catch potential errors and issues ahead. After launch, to ensure your devices are running smoothly and correctly, it's essential to gather logs in the field, aggregate them into metrics, and monitor the metrics over the time. And smart home analytics serve this purpose. Smart home analytics is a set of tools available on Google Cloud Platform, which has cloud logging to gather logs from your user's devices, and cloud monitoring to aggregate and monitor key metrics. Each time when your users control their devices with Google, we send a request to your Matter device. You execute the request on your device and give us back the result. If the request fails, an error is reported in the smart home analytics, and we will increment the metrics and also record an error log in your project. We also provide you an error breakdown dashboard to monitor projects so that you can easily find the top errors over the time, and then search the error code in cloud logging to get detailed descriptions. Join Eat Yuyan's workshop, Google Home Debugging Tools, you will learn how to use Smart Home Analytics and Test Suite to monitor your project's reliability and improve the integration quality. While we are bringing more functionality and support to the Google Home ecosystem for users, we also want to provide developer tools and resources that can make your life easier. For developers who are currently doing cloud integrations with us today over our Smart Home API, we are excited to share plenty of resources and tools with you 
for learning, testing, launching, and analyzing. Y all works with program that you connect your devices to the Google Home ecosystem. Our device access program enables you to control Google Nest devices from your application via the Smart Device Management API. In this collab, you will take a deep dive into how device access works by building a web application, handling authentication, and making Smart Device Management API calls. We are excited to give you a preview of the Google Home Playground, which enables developers to create a virtual home and devices with a user-friendly web UI in a few minutes. Google Home Playground is a great learning resource. With the virtual devices you created just with a few clicks, you can try it out and learn the functionalities with Google Home ecosystem and also Google system behavior before writing any code. It is also a great debugging tool that you can use as a cross-reference with your implementation and compare the behaviors and responses by simply importing your sync responses. Google Home Playground shows the log of each API call on Home Graph, which is essentially a logical map of your home, so you can easily copy them from the UI and see the differences from your implementations for debugging. With WebRTC, you can add real-time communication capabilities to your app that works on top of an open standard. It allows you to build powerful voice and video communication solutions. We would encourage any of our camera partners to look into switching over to WebRTC and making sure that your integration is up to date. We also want to make your WebRTC testing and debugging easier. So we are providing a WebRTC validator tool, which allows you to test your implementation quickly in your web browser. This will enable you to find and debug issues quickly and easily. In addition to the Device Access Collab, Google Home Playground, and WebRTC validator tool that we just covered, we have more tools for you. In John Fike's talk, Google Home Tools and Updates, We'll share more details about these tools, and we highly recommend you to join and learn how to use these tools to simplify your development journey with Google. We are launching a number of developer tools to help you through your entire development journey, with a number of them available for you to download and start using today. Google Home IDE, a Visual Studio Code extension to help embedded developers to easily test and debug your actions with detailed logs. Google Home Playground, enabling developers to create virtual home and devices with a user-friendly web UI in a few minutes, so you can quickly try and learn the expected behaviors without writing any code. WebRTC Validator Tool, which allows you to test your implementation quickly in your web browser, and you can find and debug issues easy. Last but not least, Test Suite with more support to validate your query states, match device states that you reported to Google via report state. We encourage all of you to check out more details at the links on the screen and start using them today. We are also giving an early preview of Matter support with the new APIs and tools. Please reach out to your Google representative if you are interested in getting further details and providing feedback to help us in our early SS program. As always, we really want to hear from you. So please send us your questions on the live chat during our session, engage with the community using the Google Home Summit hashtag, and reach out to our support channels at goo.gle slash google-home-support. Check out developers.google.com slash home to learn how you can build, innovate, and grow with Google.